Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a happy Sunday. I thought it would be really cool to do a flight attendant series. So I'm over the next few videos I'm going to do one about fatigue. Today will be the flight attendant tag. Uh, maybe what do I pack in my suitcase. So I'm not sure how many videos I'll do yet. But please subscribe so you can follow this series along. I just want to mention before we get into it that I've recently had my eyebrows done. Don't they just look fabulous? I love them. I went to Eilish Rose Beauty Therapy here in Christchurch. I'll have her business pages linked down below so all you Christchurch fam can go and check her out. Really good pricing, so professional and they just look perfect. Anyway, let's get into the video. Flight attendant tag. How long have you been a flight attendant for? I have been a flight attendant for two years in August. Did you always want to be a flight attendant? I didn't actually. I used to be scared of flying when I was quite small. Uh, when I was about probably from 6 till 15 I was afraid of flying. But we have family up in Auckland and from Christchurch to Auckland that's like an hour and a half flight and we used to fly there most school holidays to visit our family and the more and more I flew the more I got used to it and now I love it. Why did you become a flight attendant? I became a flight attendant because I was in a bit of a rut in my job. I was enjoying it but not overly and it was quite slow, business was slow and so I just wanted a change, I wanted something different in my life. I'd worked as like in offices and as reception and I was a medical receptionist, I worked in obstetrics and gynaecology, I also did dental and I just wanted a complete career change overall so I thought why not mix it up? My cousin had applied um, maybe a couple of months before me. I'd spoken to her and I was like, I'm not really enjoying my job. I'm in a bit of a rut. And she said, well, why don't you apply, you know, for the airline? And I thought, mm, I'll probably never get in because I'm too short. I'm only five foot. Anyway, I applied and I was lucky enough to be accepted. And here I am living the dream. In your opinion, what's the three best parts of being a flight attendant? Number one, the lifestyle. I just really like the lifestyle of being a flight attendant. Number two, the travel that you get to do that goes along with being a flight attendant. And number three is meeting new people every day and taking them on an adventure. I know it sounds a bit cheesy, but you never, you know, people travel for all sorts of reasons. They travel for holiday, they travel for business, they travel for funerals, sadly, weddings, celebrations, birthdays, everything. So every day you meet new people and you're taking them to their destination. So I like that. What are your three least favourite things about being a flight attendant? Number one is the fatigue. I'm going to do a video on it but it's very fatiguing. I do struggle a wee bit with the fatigue. Number two would be the long days. Um, flying, once a while, I guess it goes hand in hand with fatigue, but flying can be long, obviously, you know, you can't get here just like that. So yeah, the long days and number three would be the grumpy passengers. Not everyone's happy and cheery and there are reasons for people being grumpy but you know, you get it taken out on you quite a bit. What's your favourite beauty health tip when flying? My tip is to drink heaps of water. It helps you with fatigue, it helps your skin because the air conditioning on the plane can dry you up and shrivel you up like a prune and it just makes you feel more energised. Drink heaps of water is my tip. What was the toughest thing about training? I found tough was remembering all the procedures and the exams were quite intense. Procedures and exams is what I found quite hard, but if you work hard, you'll be able to do it. How do you balance relationships and work? I was lucky enough that before I became a flight attendant, Bryce and I were already in a relationship, so that makes it a wee bit easier. But um, friendship relationships you can find I find can be challenging because you're you know you get back from long days and you're quite tired and you your friends want to catch up and all you want to do is really go to bed but you know you've got to make an effort because you've got to keep your friends I also find shift work can be hard when 
your friends like just do normal Monday to Friday nine to five jobs um, because you do miss out on a lot of things but you know you gotta make sacrifices and people will understand. If you weren't a flight attendant what would you be doing? I would be a oral therapist, oral hygienist so I wanted to study to become a oral hygienist. At school I missed out on university entrance by one credit. In New Zealand we do credits and you have to have a, have a certain amount of, they're like points if you don't understand then it's, you don't really get what I'm saying but anyway I missed out by one credit and I was like oh well when I turn 20 I'll just go and study it and because the rule was when you were, when you turn, once you turn 20 you didn't need UE. And then when I turned 20, I looked into it and it had changed in those two years, which I wasn't aware of. And the new rule is you have had to have studied higher than a level four, whereas I've only studied a level three. So I've been working full time for four years and I was kind of like, you know, this is tricky. Do I go and study for three years and become an oral hygienist? That's where... I was kind of in the middle of, oh, I don't know what to do, so here I am, I'm a flight attendant. What is the maximum and minimum number of flights that you can do a day? So we can do up to six flights in one day, and we, so that's the maximum, and the minimum is one or two, but that usually never happens, so max is six, minimums one or two, if you're lucky you get one or two. How has your life changed since becoming a flight attendant? Well. My life has changed quite drastically. I, you know, there's pros and cons to every job and people always say, you always think that someone else's job is better, but I think that's because you're not actually doing it. My life has changed. I've become a lot freer when finishing work. Like my, just the clarity in my mind. What I love about being a flight attendant is once you leave the plane, that's it. You don't think, oh, I've got to ring Steve Stevenson tomorrow because I didn't ring him today and remind him of you know this and that and you know there's just when you leave the plane that's it until the next day there's no stress you don't take work home with you you have some good work stories which is good that's a positive of how my life's changed for the better um I will say that being away from home quite a lot is hard I'm quite a homebody and when I'm away I do find it challenging a wee bit I'm I have learnt to enjoy my own company a lot more, uh, but I definitely do miss my family and friends back home and look forward to coming home. And lucky last question, what is your advice for anyone looking to become a flight attendant? My advice is just do it. It's hard, it's challenging, you know, you want to cry at some points, you laugh, you have fun, but just do it. You just give it your all, you've got nothing to lose and the worst that can happen is they say no, you don't get in, which is quite, I guess it all depends on what mindset you have, but for me, I was kind of like, YOLO, I'll just apply, I got in, and yay, whereas if I didn't get in, I would have been upset, but if you don't get in, what, what can you do about it? Strive to find something else, or work towards something else, or ask how you can better yourself to get in, but you'll have the time of your life when you are a flight attendant, it is hard, it is a lot different to what people do think it is, but I say just do it. So thank you for watching my video today, this is the first video of my flight attendant series, and it was the flight attendant tag, if you did enjoy please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time, bye!